on the Streaming Live Academy that cam podcast we're going to cover the xbox series x showcase event and every game that was announced and whatnot so let's dive into it boys first the beast the elephant in the room halo infinite first thoughts go i love it it looks really good i love it it does maybe look something good. maybe finally something decent <laughs> I love the Did different. you see the guy's one taps though? I don't know if that oh, was yeah, all eight assist. That was pretty good aim with the pistol. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was impressed. I was like, damn. Aim hack. That's aim, true. Hack. <laughs> aim hack. Aim hack just, just for the reveal. <laughs> just so he doesn't <laughs> yeah. mess up. Yeah, it's all as scripted as possible. That's what yeah. I was wondering about. Like, how many times do you think they recorded that stuff until they said over this is the one we're gonna reveal? And over and over. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure it was kind of like a not a speed run, but I'm sure he had to get it done in a certain amount of time. Yeah, the yeah, cleanest totally way possible. So probably just yeah. over and over and over. I like I the like... idea with the hook though. That they Oh, that I think is that's, true. That's new, right? Yeah, that's the, new. The, the, the grab hook and things. That that was pretty dope. And I think he slid at one point. I saw the he character slid. Yeah, so they I'm glad they added that because I think in Halo yeah. would fit perfectly for speed. Uh yeah. you could grab stuff now. So like grab a few rod and just toss it. That, that was, was cool. awesome, yeah. And you can even just use the the hook for just punching, like to pull it yourself close and punch in. That was kind oh, of. Oh yeah, yeah. Like that true. Um, yeah. Did anybody find the guy a little bitchy at the beginning? The bearded dude like looked like Cipher if he never shaved or cut his hair oh, for yeah. a couple of months. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I swear, that's, I thought of Cypher when I saw that dude. Besides the complaining, it was more of the physical appearance, not the complaining. Uh, so you that's think of this about my physical appearance, you pervert. <laughs> I'm, well, I'm curious, though, what, what role he's going to play in this the whole thing. That's true. For me, he found, sounded a little too bitchy to be, uh, I don't know, a main character that I want along with me. Uh-huh. Like... I don't know if he's going to contrast well with Master Chief. Maybe because Master Chief's kind of a rock. And so it's like, you can complain and whine all you want. Like, Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, so they could work it out. What do you think what about... You... Sorry, go ahead. Uh, what do you think about the size of the map? That they do you think it's open world? Or is it just big chunk? Say that again? So do you guys think it's an open world? Or is it just an expansive one map? One huge map? <clears throat> okay, uh, so go switching on as you go uh, in the campaign. Have you ever played uh, um oh dang it. The Go on, I will think of it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> the name okay. of the game. But you know those uh, maps where they're basically open world but you have to like it, like unlock territory by territory kind of thing and then complete mm -hmm. all the missions in that territory and then go to the next. <laughs> like the shark game that came out uh <clears throat> One month ago or so. Oh, human man eater. Eater. Human eater. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. 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 I I'm sure they're like gonna board. do it like that, where you can go whatever order you want within the area, and then you unlock the next area or something like that. A bit like the That's old a... GTA games. Yeah. 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 Mm, yeah I, can, I can see that. Do you think though that? That's mm. good. You want that for Halo? Do you think that they're going to depart from the typical linear campaign level by mission design and go more on linear per se? If they want to ruin themselves, yes, probably. <laughs> I mean, I think it allows for more replays, I guess, kind of. Like with the okay, linear, it's, like, it's always the same, right? Like there's not really a lot of deviation or going off the the beaten path but i think if you want to maybe replay it in a different difficulty setting so whatever it gives you more options to not have the same thing over and over and over again and just go in a different order or something do you think they're going to do linear missions and have some missions that are open world or all the other way around some missions that are more open world friendly and then some missions that are completely linear <clears throat> probably I think that could work. What, what, what do you mean, guys, with open world missions and linear mission? Because if we think about an open world game like, for example, Far Cry 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, for example, mm -hmm. it yeah. feels open world. 
It is freaking linear AF. It is not linear at all. Sorry, it is not open world at all. It is only linear on a open world environment, but it's freaking linear. Yeah, that's the thing. It's the, the same open world, but linear. I think that's the approach they're going to take for that mission. At least it looked to me like that. And I think it's a gamble, but yet a fresh approach to Halo. Because honestly, my feelings when I first saw it were, it's Halo, I pre-cummed a little, and then nothing happened. Like, I was happy. Nothing happened. <laughs> <laughs> because, oh. and I'm not saying it's a bad thing, it's it's Halo. It was this, the, the same mm. Grammy angle, better graphics, same shooting, yes, the grapple, oh, throwing yeah. stuff, which I'm okay with, okay? I am completely fine with it that's i want more halo but what i care about right. is the story because halo 5 i liked it i just didn't like the story and so right mm -hmm. now we don't get much of the story so i can see why i didn't finish you know <laughs> yeah yeah nothing to add. Yeah. i think in terms of missions whether it's open world or not probably depends on what they've got planned for online play if they've got like a um say for instance call of duty you've got the the single player campaign and then you've got a vast online experience with battle royales like different game modes mm -hmm. um if they've got that planned then maybe it will be linear or if they make it open world without as much online stuff then yeah it, it could be that they might make it open world and you'll have to unlock certain parts in the map by doing like certain story missions and stuff yeah i think it'll be like cypher said far cry style mm. honestly yeah i think he he brought up the best yeah. representation of what mm. they'll do mm -hmm. yeah and Honestly, there's so many more things to Halo, though, like the Forge mode, which was so limited mm -hmm. on because of the consoles. And if you ever did the Forge mode on the PC, you could feel, you know, that this freedom yet limitation imposed mm -hmm. on RAM and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But with the, with the power of being on PC and then being able to maybe create, I was always thinking like Forge, its true potential lays on the computer. And then maybe you can create the world, and then play it on, like, a lower console or whatever. Did you guys ever do Forge? No. No. I never did. So that's a dead beating horse. Let's move on to... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think it was good. By the way, any of you played Fable? No, no never. Cypher, I, I, that's what I did. I, that's I'm what I made. Although the trailer looked good. So... It's a super good game. I, you know, guys, that I like games in which you have to mass out a shitload of money and you can be good or freaking bad and kill everyone. And Fable is that kind of game. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I can live out my fantasies. I'm rich. And I'm gonna kill everything. Okay. I guess. <laughs> but aside from then, Fable, is there Fable 1, 2, and 3? I remember there's like sequels, right? Is this like a reboot, you could say, then? They are not actually sequels. They are somewhat connected, but they are all different stories. Oh, okay. No, that makes okay. Sense. I just I've always seen them. I just never played the Fable series. Yeah. I mean, it's good. It's like basically you. Uh, for example, uh, I don't want to spoil it a lot, but for example, if I remember well, Fable Three, you are this this person that you can choose a male or female, and you have a lot of stories. And what you actually end up being is. Uh, um, you need to become the new king because the actual king is a, a tyrannical maniac that is actually stealing all of the money from the people. And basically, you all, all through the game, you think this guy is a piece of garbage. But when you actually end up becoming the new king, you discover that this guy was actually trying to save uh, the whole item from a prophecy. And uh, he uh, took all of that money to actually stop... Uh, a big world that was going to come. Okay. So now you feel uh, in a fight between will I be a new tyrant or will I help people but they will die because of the war? 
And what I want to actually solve this is to play this game amazingly. And in that case, you can actually save both of the things, but it's too hard. So you have to make a choice. Which one did you do? I see. I mean, it's cool. It's cool. Did you choose one cipher? Did you save everybody? I I mean, I exploit every single game that I play. That's why I alpha test game. So yes, of course. <laughs> That's Jesus. Uh, the other one that was there, uh, Crossfire X. Honestly, anybody know anything about Crossfire? I'm confused I as to what the game is. I do not know anything about Crossfire. I have like, seen some gameplay, but doesn't look like too much of a different mm. shooter. Like just yeah, kind of like, same same old. But I thought it was I've like never heard of multiplayer Crossfire. only game, and then it. Because they only, they focused specifically that that was a campaign, and I know there's a beta going on. I think on Xbox for Crossfire X, the multiplayer. Uh -huh. Yes, I mean the graphics looking pretty good. I like the effects, yeah. making shooters look. You don't said insane. Be careful with what you say. Plus, uh, I mean, uh, it's me or the trailer of this game, Crossfire X, is basically every single Call of Duty like trailer ever. Like, to, no, even no, no, the captain with the blood is the freaking same. That, <laughs> I, thought. I, I thought it was Call of Duty when it came out. <laughs> like, I was new like, Call of Duty? I was yeah, like, I've like, seen what, this before. I think it's mostly the particle effects and stuff. They went ham. Call of Duty oh. until Modern Warfare, the mm -hmm. current one, mm -hmm. I would say that's always physics. Uh, particle effects with physics has always been lacklustering. So that's why this one stuck out to me, the particle effects on it. But besides that, I was like, what are you? Like, why do I want to play you? I'd rather just watch you. But, yeah, I don't know. We'll but even next part it. in this game, a part that I, as a marketing consultant, uh, really like. There is a small part at uh, two minutes and something that you see that this guy has in his hand. Uh, a blue flame, um, rainbow-like knife mm -hmm. so i think the microtransaction are confirmed <laughs> <laughs> cs go like a knife we like they're it. already charging you and you haven't even played the game <laughs> i didn't even play the game but i was already searching for that because when i saw it i was like it seems like the same freaking um how, how's the name a uh, knife that uh, uh luca is actually using on valorant so i was like hmm you Weapon for mm. look, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, I think Crossfire. Then, if you know anything, yeah. let us know in the comment section below. Yeah. Educate us, tell us why this game is better than Call of Duty, better than something else that we should know about. Next one right. is something I'm not too interested in, honestly. It looked a little too beep. Fantasy Star Online 2. Anybody know anything about that stuff? No, what? no. Uh, no. Cypher is the one I feel like he would be. Uh, I thought it was Sonic already. at first when Sega oh, came out. I was like, oh, Sonic. Me too. Sonic too. I was like, Sonic, was like, let's go. I was like, damn, Sonic got real. Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Cypher? What do you think? Yeah. Uh, uh, no, I actually uh, know it kind of well because I didn't play it. I am not a big lover of the too much anime like uh, games. Mm -hmm. I like them, but I'm not a big fan. Um, actually, uh, Mr. Glass plays uh, uh, played that game a lot, like the first oh, version, man. not the two, but the Fantasy Star Online one. He actually spent a freaking lot of time streaming it. So I actually saw it, and I mean, it is generally a very simple MMORPG with uh, animal-like graphics. That's it, like nothing actually special. So uh, again, with, like with every MMORPG, MMORPGs are incredibly hard to create and to make well because you have to create an economy that is um, player managed and that's incredibly hard. Right. So that's, that's it. I can't say anything about this game at all. Nice graphic. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought too. And it was more of the having a, I guess, Asian based game coming to Xbox, which we know they struggled a little bit, quite a bit in their history. It also uh, kind of reminded me of like, uh, was it Monster Hunter World or something? Oh, yeah. Just like Same fighting way. one big monster after another, like one of those again. Dauntless yeah, anime Monster version Hunter of World. It. Yeah. 
At least it's good. At least Monster Hunter is good. That's true. Monster Hunter is pretty good. It's just too much time, man. I started it like yeah. a whole day in. I was like 10 hours in and I'm like, I'm done. I'm done. I'm pulling out. There's too much time. <laughs> so in basically, you play the tutorial. <laughs> and I will play the tutorial. <laughs> so I was like, I'm out. Uh, the other game, guys, this one caught my attention though. Medium. Oh, Medium, Medium to oh, that... me looked dope. It looked dope, yeah. I'm trying to think though how this would be different than any other just jump scare kind of game. I think it came Unless down to the, the like I'm confused as the dual world part. It's like it, it says simultaneously dual reality gameplay. Okay, that sounds so, cool. But when I think about it, <laughs> it what the hell does fancy, that even but, mean? But, but is it like they showed it on screen where you have a split screen and you see both worlds at the same time? No. With it, different aspects of it? Or is it, it just it like... Will like, never be like that. Into, I, I can assure you guys, uh, if you have the same screen two times, uh, you will actually lose the spooky effect. Uh, what they will probably do, and honestly, I am actually expecting it. Uh, any of you ever played Salad Hill? Yeah, I didn't play Silent Hill. I no. didn't play it, but Jesus Christ, where do we live on a freaking well, moon? The old one. <laughs> no, thinking. basically, no. Uh, to make it very simple, on Silent Hill, you are on this city that uh, you you can't live in this city, and that's fine. A very spooky oh, yeah. city, very strange, whatever. Basically, what happens is uh, in Silent Hill, um, they have uh, kind of a shadow period. Okay, so even during day or night, uh, they will start uh, um, singing the bells of the church. Okay. And from that point uh, on, like, the whole change, uh, the whole landscape will change. Like, everything will become older. Um, buildings will become strange. Uh, walls will move. And from that point on, monster will actually appear. And that actually may make the game interesting, because maybe you are in a room that has no doors, nothing, but if you change reality, that room actually takes you to another place uh, say that you can't actually reach in the original reality stuff like that yeah and uh, kind of like uh, my uh, happy few like what is the game um happy, uh, happy few, few. Uh, we the happy few we the happy few the, the game in which you have to take pills uh, to be happy yeah yeah i think yeah. it's called we the happy few pills to be happy that's mm -hmm. what the people do outside my house too <laughs> um, <laughs> Jesus Christ! Is, okay, we happy few. Yes, that game. And basically, you have kind of two realities. Is not maybe strong like uh, they will probably make it in this game, but uh, you basically will live a very happy life. Everything is rainbow, very nice colors, amazing. And these guys in the beginning of the game they make you a beautiful pinata, and you eat from this pinata. But if you actually don't take your meds, uh, this is not a pinata. This is actually a that rat. Oh, well. yeah, you're right. It totally changes the context of the game. That's the same game, same reality, but without meds, it's like two different realities. Yeah. By the way, I just read this article from GameStop. It says that the medium, you will experience the game from two different perspectives and you will explore both physical and spiritual world simultaneously with both displayed on your screen. It says that you will be moving through both worlds by a single analog stick, but you'll interact with the two environments in different ways. So apparently it is okay. at the same it is time. like a split screen, yeah. Maybe yes at this point, but I mean, if they are doing this, if that's, that's good. That's a nice that'd touch, be, something new. That'd be interesting. Yeah, it is that'd something new. That's good. That confirms it then if GameStop, you heard it first, streaming liveacademy.com. Don't forget to hit the comment section and subscribe and everything in between. The next one is, boys, the gunk. My wife was like, boring, but I was interested. I just like stuff that sucks. It looked like it could suck. <laughs> Come on, I, Japer. I, 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 I looked at it, but I was like, eh. Japer, yeah, tell me you love it. it. Tell me you're interested. Uh, no. no. What does your chart say, by the way? I'm trying to read it the whole time. It says, I, oh, I like, I like teetotalers more beer for me. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! I thought it was mine. Sweet. Uh, the, gunk, the gunk. Then we'll move on from it because nobody mm. cares about the gunk. Honestly, I wouldn't I mean, care for it. It's like a Minecraft. 
it, it's I like the graphics. I like the the sci-fi idea. It's like a much yeah. match between sci-fi and uh, steampunk kind of. Yeah. And I really like the font of the title. That's a very cool font. But that's it. I is <laughs> that doesn't say anything. The of a title. Yeah, I mean, it you know. looks a bit. It looks a bit ratchet and clank for me. Yeah. Oh, really? It oh, really? looks a bit that that sort of style. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean, graphic wise? Yeah. Yeah, that's true. They don't even have like a link here in this article that I'm pulling up on the screen. You have to look online for the gunk and then i go to images and hopefully i get a bottle for removing gunk <laughs> anyway guys it's this one the gunk it looks pretty cool uh the other game boys next i don't know if you played it it was first a playstation exclusive then it came out for pc and finally it's hitting xbox about time with even multiplayer in, in it tetris effect i don't know if you played it you haven't played it why are you puking at me no, I mean, I was expecting a shit game, but uh, I think that every Tetris is a good game. Like, Tetris is a masterpiece by itself. I repeat the title. Tetris Effect Connected, but I've played Effect on PlayStation, VR, Oculus oh, okay. Quest. I, played I actually I had the, the fun to play it, because I was uh, really into uh, Tetris Pidran. Not like I ever did a speedrun or anything, but it was very fun to see a documentary uh, about it. Mm -hmm. And then I saw this game and I was like, eh, graphically speaking, they made a game that is 2D, 3D, and cool at the same time. Amazing. <laughs> yep, that's why I'm into it most. Yeah. I'm, I'm it's a solid. It's it's the Tetris. Tetris is just solid. Yeah, that's yeah. true. So I think it's finally f back that they're bringing it. They actually, that's what I noticed as soon as they were playing the song. Uh, anybody know about the Warhammer 40,000 Dark Tide? I can't keep track of Warhammer. I swear there's Warhammers all left and right. I've never played a single Warhammer. I played like a turn-based one. I forgot what it was even called on the PSP. Uh, I think mm -hmm. it was that I played it on. Oh, yeah. But yeah, I don't know anything about the Dark Tide thingy. I like that the fact that the big dude, it looks like cool. the commander... Hit the flashlight. Oh, my <laughs> <That> worked. Was... <laughs> Is this the first FPS Warhammer? Wait, the first um... FPS? Isn't this an FPS? Yeah, like this is a... Well, I don't think it's the first one. Wait, the main... Uh, like it seems cool. so from the, like from the trailer, you see this guy with the gun. I see it, it seems FPS. like... So Warhammer's never been FPS? I don't think so. Like, I played the uh, roleplay game, so the tabletop roleplay game. Yeah. I played yeah, the, I that one. the, like, civilization like Warhammer. Uh, I played the Part of Exile or Diablo like Warhammer. Absolutely garbage. Mm -hmm. For PS, the new way, like, they are using this franchise like crazy. I thought there was an FPS one war that came out for PlayStation. It had the big blue. Armor or something. Fire Warrior really isn't the greatest, but in terms of Warhammer titles, it's far from Shavius. Oh no! So apparently, War Fire Warrior, um, it's included in there. They had one for Space Hulk: Vengeance of the Blood Angels. Sounds epic. And, yeah. Oh, Space Marine. That that's the one I saw that was sort of a. But I think that was a third person actually. But yeah, they've they've had a first person. It looks yeah. like it hasn't been a popular one though. <laughs> But when you, uh, it's it's stinky. You 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 can, the milk, uh, all the milk. Uh, it's stinky. They milk this fucking franchise so much. It stinks. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Like I feel like it's been around for so long. Jesus Christ. <laughs> the other one was oh like Stalker Two. You guys, that had a cool trailer. That looks but no good. Gameplay. That looks very good. Yeah. The like fact a that darkness... it's in, yeah, they like Chernobyl style, isn't it? It looked yeah. good. It looked good. Yeah. Very good. I mean, it's not Chernobyl style. I think it is Chernobyl. Yeah. Is actually Chernobyl, yeah. yeah. Around these areas around the Chernobyl disaster, filled with mutants and weirdos, pizza, Italians. Okay, makes sense. Mm. Nice. I mean. I am Italian, so I 
I could actually go there. I mean, now you can actually go there. You have a lot of tourists right now there, so yeah. very cool. Yes, wow. that's amazing. Will my balls dry off and dry and fall off, or I'll be okay? I mean, no, no. Right now is not so radioactive right. as it was. Uh, you know, it, it is radioactive, totally is, but uh, mm. uh, it is safe if you go there for one day or a few hours. Uh, okay. Not more, of course. Mm. Not not more. Yeah. Though, isn't so you have uh, Chernobyl ice cream. Actually, you have a lot of actually super cool stuff uh, related to Chernobyl and a lot of merchandise. They're mm. making Have a you, lot of money. Oh, yeah, they're, they're milking that thing. Have you done the? Mm. Um, um, have you seen the HBO series on Chernobyl? Yeah. Yes. Oh no, I'm not. Yeah. Brilliant. Look. Brilliant. Brilliant. Totally. Let's go. <laughs> Look, it's where do you live? On freaking <laughs> Minecraft, on under the bedrock. <laughs> under the bedrock. <laughs> if, I, I'm accepting uh, donations for HBO subscription. <laughs> <laughs> It was it's Netflix. Uh, there is a documentary on uh, on that on Netflix too. Jesus. Yeah, I always, I always I do I the seven day show. free trial when uh, Game of Thrones came out. I sign oh, up yeah, with Game a new Thrones. email. I get the seven day free trial, and then I will, I binge watch it all, and then I create a new email for the next season. There's no titties in Chernobyl, though. They all burn <laughs> away and dry uh, off. Uh, I mean, yeah, actually, you don't have two titties. You don't have three, four, five titties in the same person. <laughs> Mutations. <laughs> okay, guys, moving on to the next one before it goes like, more south. This is a serious podcast. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Everybody, if you're liking what you're seeing, don't forget to stick around streamingliveacademy.com. All links in everybody's descriptions and whatnot. And just stick around and read the articles if you like them. If you don't, still read them. Uh, Destiny yeah. 2, guys, honestly, this animal keeps going. Yeah, I mean, that's the only one I feel like has been milked. Like, where's yeah. Destiny 3? Yeah. It looked Destiny good, though. <laughs> Graphics <laughs> looked good. That's like, the gameplay, though, yeah. that was mind-blowing, in my opinion. I, like, yeah. freezing stuff, molding the environment, that was cool. It looked sick. But yeah, it's so, been around for, I feel like, too long. Yeah. yeah. Like, it's just been going on and on, and yeah. I feel like every time is the last expansion they're going to come out with, but then there's always another one. There's another one. <laughs> oh, last one? Okay. Oh, another one? <laughs> another one. <laughs> <laughs> I tried playing it. I played the first one, but then the second one, I lost interest pretty fast. I tried it. Yeah. I never stuck around for more than... I think the, a week was the longest I lasted. Jesus, uh, so you're a patient boy. I was like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I spent like four good hours on that game, Destiny 2. <laughs> and I was... I was not cheating. Maybe I was even cheating, so it was even funnier for me. And in the end, it was total bullshit. Yeah, not worth it. <laughs> the other one that was kind of weird was the Jack Black featured in Psychonauts 2. Like, anybody played Psychonauts? I didn't even, Like, I've seen it, but I don't know anything about it other than it looks psychedelic. I played play the first one a little bit, but it it looks like mm. the, so many colors and everything. No. Yeah. It's what like... a Plus, Jack Black, fucking masterpiece. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, it's not it's not wrong. Just imagine <laughs> playing that game with all the the colors it has and everything when you're completely high. <laughs> that's what I was thinking. That, 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 HDR, that, that, that's 4K. what I thought when, when I when I Content. saw the game. I was like, Content. "That thing is gonna fuck someone up." <laughs> I am Jack Black. <laughs> <laughs> that was my first thought when I saw this. Like all these colors and hypnosis, I was like, "Oh yeah, I'm gonna do that." I'm gonna do that. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, so that's yeah. psychotic. You got your taste. Oh, but Sin was Hellblade 2 Sega. You guys have played Hellblade, right? Tell me you have. Sin was Sacrifice. What is a Hellblade? <laughs> this <Man of> culture. <laughs> I get disconnected from the call. I, I, wait, I, 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 wait. Ah, uh, the, the girl with a very sexy uh, tattoos on the face, so the blue girl. I guess you could call him sexy if you're into it, but. <laughs> I'm excited for it though. I haven't, oops, sorry. I haven't played it. No, but I mean, it looks good. It looks really good. I invite you to play the first one, guys. It's mind-blowingly sick. Good. Like you don't need to get high in order to feel like you just been mind raped. 
It's pretty good. Is it on the Xbox Game Pass? Uh, yeah. So mm. it'll be on the... I don't know if it's oh, on I'm the I'm going to invest in that, I think. Ooh, okay. I, might, I might have to sign up for the PC one again. See if it works now or not. Oh, yeah. I've heard a friend of mine signed up for it first and it was a mess. But now he's kept up with it because it's more stable. So, yeah, yeah. Check it out and see if it's in there because Hellblade is good. I only probably played um, one because the face effects, they really invested a lot of budget on those faces. Mm hmm yeah. yeah, that's true. Amazing. What was the other one? Um, as as dusk falls, sounds. Is that the one with the animated yeah. cool art? Yeah, that's the one with the art where they basically oh, just. I, I'm so into yeah. that. It looks good. Jaber? It looks like you. Like you could be yeah. a character in that game. Yeah. Well, that hair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't go on the car. Huh? Uh, I what? could be the little girl on the car. <laughs> the little girl in the car? It looks Wait, good. That, it looks that's good. the one where their mom's like chasing him around to shoot him with a shotgun or something. You know, it's kind of like, bad kid. Let me discipline you. <laughs> yeah, I think it was that one. I I'm interested. It's definitely indie. That's the one thing I noticed about this yeah. event. It was like a Xbox doesn't have exclusives besides. Wow, the I <laughs> and so I think with this. This event, at least for me, I was okay with it because I was shown a bunch of new things that they yeah. could be great or they could suck. Compared mm -hmm. to PlayStation, which showed at least half of what I know and I'm expecting to be great. Which the Grand Theft Auto one, I honestly still don't understand that one. It's like, what the hell was that? It was like an endorphin rush for little kids. Ah! Grand Theft Auto! Ah! Grand Theft Auto what? <laughs> On the Fetching PS5 event. Like the way they oh, showed yeah. Grand Theft Auto 5. And yeah. it was Grand Theft Auto 5 normal version. It was free for the kids that actually have it on PlayStation, not PC, PlayStation. Well, that is true. It was for them. It's like the PC kids like, oh, I'm going to go get it for PlayStation. Mom! Yeah, that's kind of the, the feeling I got out of that one. So Xbox didn't have that trash. No. Now let's see. What is this game? Obsidian reveals new series. Or oh, Avowed. There's no video or anything. Uh, oh yeah, that one I uh, didn't give too much information about. It, I mean, it looked good. The what was it? 15 20 second trailer they showed. Yeah. Um, it, it looked That's proper. actually a one minute and twenty second video trailer. To be honest, it a, okay? Yeah, it was like a one quarter, <laughs> one one fourth was like literally an hour going up in the air. Yeah, yeah one the out other... of the one minute twenty was just. <laughs> I would say, yeah, 20 seconds, okay, <laughs> even more, are that arrow that is going. I mean, who can shoot an arrow that far? And the skeleton yeah. died. Yeah, that's true. And then it goes into the caves, and then apparently and there's someone the... taking a walk. It's like Cypher's yeah. like, I want to take a detour. Let's go into the catacombs. <laughs> Ooh. I mean, of course, like... uh, you throw a freaking, and the guy with the magic shit is in there. <laughs> He just needed a light. Yeah. That's true. He just needed a wake up call. <laughs> they're the, oh, is it? They're the ones who made Fallout New Vegas, I think. And I didn't know Outer Worlds. I haven't played Outer Worlds. I've heard it's I good. haven't played it yet. I have it, but I haven't played it yet. Now, there's the other one. Tell me why. We're almost done, boys. Tell me why. Oh, that's the one with the mom. Never mind. The the one I said about dark. Oh, oh, we really got shot. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, so I that didn't. Wrong. I don't know. It wasn't interesting for me. Like uh, uh, for me, I was like, I'm not gonna invest anything in it. Same here. Just because it's on Game Pass, I'll try it, but I wouldn't buy it. Yeah. Wasn't there? Uh, was it ground? Grounded? Ground? The yeah, uh, grounded. Yeah, strong one. They looked like Fortnite with the building mode. Not gonna lie, yeah. I thought it was like Fortnite, just small. Mini. Fortnite for babies. Now this one definitely, I'm interested in it because I'm into like Ark and survival uh -huh. games like Conan Exiles. So this is like a child friendly with a cool setting. Yeah. So I'm all for it. I just don't want to do the preview. I don't like doing previews for games. I think they're buggy. They don't have achievements. They stink. They smell weird. No thanks. By the way, have anybody watched the the movie or the TV series uh, Honey, I Shrunk the Children? I watched no. it. But I it, didn't. I don't know. 
It's <laughs> no yeah. one watched that except That's Luke, funny. who apparently <laughs> doesn't watch anything. <laughs> Don't waste your Way time. It's not worth it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's not worth it. I watched it. You see, he, he watches stuff worse. that is not worth it, but <laughs> don't watch stuff that is actually worth it. No. Alleged. That's why we work so well together. Yeah, that's so actually you know, good. I know, and I know things that, you, you know, I tell you what not to do. What yeah, not that's to cool. Do, what not to waste I'm not time. losing time thanks to you. You are a good boy. See, there you go. <laughs> a YouTube series, just the a, a playlist is like what not to watch by what Jeremy. Not? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the other worlds, of course, expansion. Mm -hmm. uh, tell me why. I think that's the one we talked about. Ever no, wild. Yeah, what? I thought Ever wild looked decent, but it's more of an. I don't know. Like, I would mm. play oh, that it was the mobile. That was the second one, right? Ever wild. It, yeah, it looked mobile. Yeah. No, it's not it mobile, is. but. I Okay. Like, I mean, it was like a freaking PlayStation almost thriller. Mm. Yeah, yeah, it looks like. I think that's the vibe it's, it's vibe it's supposed to give off. Like <laughs> that thing at the end of the trailer, going that big bright thing. You know? It looked like yeah. uh, Avatar and Monster Hunter World. Yeah, that's what it did. Oh, like a freaking Airbender and then the <laughs> monster. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I like the art. I'm interested. The artist, it's just the I'm art like, what's going to be the gameplay? Like that's what I was wondering. Am I just going to? Yeah, because apparently you can't kill the monster. So w w yeah. what do you? What do you? Got? I mean, it yeah. seems like a life is strange, guys. Uh, like this style, the graphical style is freaking similar yeah. to Life is Strange. I can see that. That's what was rare to do it. Yeah. That it was. They thought it was Life is Strange three at first. <laughs> Yeah, like definitely. Yeah, once they start showing the woods and stuff, I was like, okay, yeah. I'm interested, yeah. but definitely curious mm. to see what it's yeah. gonna be about. Have you ever played um, Sky Peel Sky Children? I think it's called on mobile. No, I played no. it for quite a bit. I think it's called no. Sky Children. Why do you play freaking mobile games? Yeah, Sky Children of the Light, beautiful game, amazing for the first Is that an day ambulance? or two. It's like a yeah, that was an ambulance. But yeah, there is a game that is very similar to that one that I don't remember the name for PlayStation Two, and it is um, only PS Two uh, exclusive. I can't really remember the name of the game, but it's very yeah, one game. Uh, like this yeah. one. Yeah, I remember. I mean, no idea. Uh, almost <laughs> same style, but it's cool. I mean, that's a Jaber nice with game. Save. Um, <laughs> I was then, thinking uh, of Eco at first, and then I thought, no. <laughs> okay. um, the one Jaybird loves, yeah. it's Forza yes. Motorsport, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, Forza Motorsport looks, even though it was only on the screen for about, what, a minute, minute and a half. It looked good, though, I mean, yeah. It looks like it's yes. going to have various... Uh, like Important. packs to open or DLC, like you saw the the Laguna Sacred Legends one. Um, you saw another one. I think it was it flashed by so fast I couldn't see it actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it looks brilliant. Like the detailing of the the whole pit stall and oh, <laughs> I agree. I, I, I'm a big fan of my sim racing. If you've seen no, my I, I, same here. I like simulation racing a lot more than arcade. Yeah. Arcade, it's oh, yeah. like dirt. I'll play dirt. But Forza Horizon, yeah. I like it, but I prefer for motorsport. And I think I'm just excited for it, <clears throat> honestly. You have to mean was it an exclusive console exclusive? It was Forza. I, think, so. I don't it's think it was. So, yeah. I don't think so. I think the console exclusive they only showed those towards the end, which is hmm. I lost track of which ones. Yeah. But world premiere. Just, yeah, I love when they say that. World How many premiere. times do we bloody hear that? World premiere. <laughs> yes, we get it. Uh, then there is State of the K three. I mean, Cypher and I have played that. I'm excited. Totally up to it. Hopefully it will be better than the one and the two. I don't think so, but if it will. We will totally play that on stream. It is very relaxing. You die like a potato ass, and that's fine because that's that's state of the game. That's fine. 
Mm, yeah, that's fun. Uh, and then to finish off, guys, because we need to call it off in about five minutes, we mm -hmm. have uh, Balan Underworld. Doesn't ring a bell. And I'll, I just got done with the comments. Balan what? Underworld. Balan Underworld? And there's a woman that shows there's up. There's a lot of things they just flick through, basically. Oh, Wonderworld. What the fit? <laughs> Under... So, the name is Wonderworld. What is that the name? No one knows. It's so bad that no one knows. What? What is it called? Balan Wonderworld. Alan? When you look it up on images, it shows a woman or a bunch of women. So I don't know if that's the kind of Wonder World we're looking for. Did he even show this? I don't remember. Um, I don't remember. Uh, I, um, uh, I've, I've just found it. You uh, share it? And it's no. from the creators of Sonic. Can you put the link in the Discord? Share yeah. the content, please. I think uh, I think it's one of the ones you know. There are a few of the games they just there was about thirty seconds where they went, "Is this from?" <laughs> you know, oh. this and then it just went on to another game, basically. That one, Wonder oh, World. Jesus. Mm. Is Square Enix? Yeah, Square Enix might not even come out actually. So let's move on. <laughs> Hello Neighbor 2. Was that there? No. Nope. Oh, that's the pre-show. This is all in the pre-show stuff, looks yeah. like. We're... Okay, okay. Wild Dogs Legion, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I think we yeah, got like... all of them. Yeah, I don't think mm. any of that was in there. I think I, I will play it. I think I will play Balan Wonderworld. It seems so cool. <laughs> <laughs> it looks a bit... Yeah. It's, it's like a Crash Bandicoot, uh, Jack and Dexter, uh, Super yeah. Mario, uh, Sonic, of course. Uh, yeah. Why not? Can I just say, there is one game, one game I'm surprised they didn't run the trailer for, even though it drops today. That's FIFA 21. I mean, what? <laughs> there is no one <laughs> premiere. It's the same thing for fucking 10 Longer. Same and join. <laughs> They just changed the players, Jesus. <laughs> they added more microtransactions. But they they usually game. drop. They usually drop in these these kinds of. That's true. Uh, uh, right. showcases this time. Uh, you you're right, but it is the same thing for the last twenty years. Yes. It is. That's the thing, though. I'm surprised they didn't show it. But if Jaber wouldn't mm. have said anything, I wouldn't have even noticed. Mm. Whoa! Why does? Oh! I thought, I thought I'm just Luke surprised it's still go and the dog. Still running. Then. Obviously, I'm glad they didn't show it. Good oh, yeah. job, Microsoft. They understand the players. Mm. Phil Spencer is listening. The prophet <laughs> from fetching Lord Master Chief. Thank you. Amen. So, no news about the Diablo 4? <laughs> no, that's for Blizzard, for Diablo Immortal. They're going to show all the yeah, PC yeah, players. Yeah. You want to play this while your computer boots up. <laughs> Man, that was such a fail. Like, that I think is the biggest fail in gaming history, man. Show PC players a mobile-only game. It's like... Jesus Christ. Yeah. Don't you have uh, mobile phones? <laughs> Don't you have a marketing team with a freaking brain? I have no idea, maybe. <laughs> yeah, Cypher, they should have gotten you, and you would have been like, all right. I mean, if I was paid like they are paid, I will freaking do the freaking game alone. <laughs> I will have that shit like, what are we milking? I will make a freaking Nutella with it. <laughs> oh, God. Well, boys, right. that's all the games. Um, mm -hmm. Everybody, please, if you want more of this, don't forget, we all stream. Lord Cypher is currently back from the underworld, right? I think. Yeah, I was in the uh, wood age. <laughs> the the, the pre-internet phase. <laughs> out of a sudden out of just like our president rules. said three years ago the internet is new to all of us I'm like no not 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 really but <laughs> glad you arrived here i'm happy it's not my president <laughs> oh man yeah, it, it, that was quite the statement when she did that i was like wow welcome to the team like happy to have you here 
That's you're true. like 15 years late, but it's all right. You, you got it here. <laughs> That's true. And before I go more further, guys, time's running out. So thank you all. We all stream pretty much. Check our channels, descriptions, everything. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Have a beautiful day. See you later, people. Laters.